Okay, please. Green um, is thank yours. you. Yes, thank you. So um, I want to thank our organizer for uh, giving me this opportunity to speak in this uh, virtual event. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about um, sort of an interesting coincidence between uh, uh, discoveries, uh, you know, in the in the high energy uh, community, like rel relativists from high energy community, and also uh, earlier results by uh, uh, relativists from the mathematics community. And it turns out they have a similar idea in this uh, um, construction. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll start with um, something uh, that is uh, quite important, uh, at least recently in high energy physics, in particular in uh, uh, this uh, field of ADSFT. Um, um, so, so roughly speaking, uh, there we would like to know how to compute entropies. Uh, in a geometric way. Um, and uh, this is sort of following the theme of uh, Birkenstein Hawking entropy, where we know the, the entropy of black hole is characterized by an area law. And uh, can we generalize that? And uh, um, in, in 26, um, uh, Ryo Takanayaki realized that this can be done. So their prescription is say, if you have ADS space and if you care about a quantum state supported on a, a part of the boundary subregion here denoted as B. And then this uh, uh, its entropy, the volume entropy is computed by the area of the minimum surface that stretches into space-time. And here it is sort of just a, a symmetric setting, a Riemannian setting uh, of a time slice of how this uh, can be computed. And, uh, and uh, you can do uh, better by going to a space-time uh, case. Uh, uh, and there uh, the RT formula looks for instead of the minimal surface, uh, you look for an extremal surface, by which I mean, uh, because it's a co-dimension two surface, uh, you have a sort of two-dimensional uh, uh, mean curvature vector, and you, you demand the, uh, the surface uh, has a vanishing mean curvatures for, for in both uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, directions. And then, then uh, you look for such a surface with a minimal area, and that area computes for you the entropy. Uh, uh, as shown in this formula. And, and here I just give you an example of ADS threshold. And uh, uh, if you care about, say, you know, it's a two sided black hole, if you care about uh, the entropy of, 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 of one asymptotic n, then this entropy is computed by this area of the bifurcation surface. Okay, so this is a very quick review of, uh, of the prescription. And um, the main thing about alt entropy is a, a notion of coarse grained black hole entropy that that uh, sort of defined using the, the, the real Takanayaki prescription. And this is introduced by Angle Ha War uh, two years ago, or three years ago. Um, so their idea is try to uh, define a notion of coarse grained black hole entropy uh, in a statistical way, but without going to any microscopic theory of quantum gravity. And how do we do that? So the idea is to say, uh, uh, you know, thermodynamics tells us uh, the, the entropy is sort of uh, uh, fixing what you know and maximize over what you don't know. And when you apply this principle to the black hole, uh, you say you have a apparent horizon sigma, then uh, what you know is at the data outside, that's, some, that's the region you can observe. And uh, what's inside, you maximize over it. And uh, your goal is to try to look for the largest uh, uh, real Takanayaki surface, as I just defined in the previous slice, so that uh, you have a maximized entropy in the end. So, so, so this is what they defined. And on the picture here, uh, you can see uh, this this outer wedge, this fixed outer wedge is uh, is what they fixed, and this uh, character characteristic now data is what they put in, and you maximize over all possible. Uh, data you can put in such that uh, this is glued up properly, and then uh, you try to maximize this area of XRT. Um, and they show that if if you start with a parent horizon, you're going to end up with uh, this construction will return you the the area law that you would like to have, so everything's consistent. Um, um, I would like to uh, uh, draw a parallel to the well-known sort of Mantotelis uh, Shen construction for computing the bardic mass. And this is studied by uh, uh, people and also extended to um, ADS case. And also uh, Alejandro just, just uh, talked about this uh, extensively in the previous talk. Uh, so I don't have to uh, repeat many of it. But uh, the idea there is that uh, you, 
you try to look for optimal optimum construction to minimize the ADM mass uh, by uh, changing the, the the outside. Whereas here, you try to look for sort of a, a supremum of this area by changing the inside. So, so they are in some sense due to each other, and uh, we shall see uh, more about this uh, in, in the rest of the talk. So, uh, since I have talked about bonding mass, let's let's quickly review it. Um, the, uh, the bonding mass, uh, I believe many of you are familiar with, uh, is just um, uh, uh, the idea of bonding to 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 define a quasi-local mass uh, using the the ADM mass. Um, and his idea is that if you fix a, a surface and you try to minimize over all horizon-free extensions of the given surface, uh, and this will give you the, 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 the quasi-local mass associated with the surface. Um, the, the interesting uh, thing I want to uh, draw attention to, which, which is uh, maybe not so familiar to, to you guys, is that Abray, in his paper, uh, you know, his seminal paper proving the Riemannian parents inequality uh, actually defined a, a, a dual version or say an inner version of the bodic mass uh, uh, motivated by the parents inequality, right? So the parents inequality, as we also heard from uh, Hanjo uh, just now, uh, is a statement that uh, ADM mass is lower bounded by the irreducible mass and the, the irreducible mass, uh, you know, depends on whether it's uh, asymptotic flat or asymptotic hyperbolic or whether you have charge, it has a slightly different expression. And here uh, we just consider this um, two simple cases where you just plug in the area of the, of the apparent horizon and this will give you some sort of uh, uh, quantity that behaves like an energy. And this is the quantity that lower bounds the ADM mass according to the Paris inequality conjecture. So Bray's idea is that instead of using the ADM mass to define the quasi-local mass, he, let's use the irreducible mass to define the quasi-local mass. And you just swap the, the, the region you fixed and the region you optimize, you swap them. And uh, um, basically looking for the largest black hole that you can put inside your, your, your surface. And, and its irreducible mass computes the so-called inner mass. Okay, so this is a Bray's idea. Um, so um, I've introduced uh, inner mass and outer entropy, and it seems like uh, they are both doing optimization over the interior while fixing the exterior. And it is very suggestive that these two, two things are just in some sense equivalent. Um, but um, if we look at the formulas uh, that defines them properly, here below, uh, here above we have the inner mass, and uh, here below we have the the outer entropy, which, uh, as I explained, is is the uh, uh, you try to uh, uh, um, uh, maximize over all possible uh, few ins and look for the largest RT surface with the largest area, um, um, and uh, and this this thing is uh, is actually uh, you can you can you can you can expand them even further uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, in terms of how you actually look for these extremal surfaces. Um, but but the, the main point I want to want to say is that the inner mass by definition is a quasi-local quantity as it only takes input from the surface. It takes the bonic data from the surface to, to compute this quantity. Whereas this outer entropy takes the entire data from the outer wedge, right? The outer part of the uh, of the Cauchy surface as input. So by definition, this uh, outer entropy quantity is not quasi-local. So uh, if we would like them to be the same, uh, it's very suggestive they are, uh, we need some extra conditions to quasi-localize the, 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 the outer entropy. So, so it turns out uh, all we need is that uh, we just need to demand the surface we are considering to be out minimizing and the mean convex, and then we have uh, the equivalence between these two notions. That is, the inner mass is actually equal to the irreducible mass of the outer entropy. Of course, I'm not saying energy equals to entropy because they don't have the same dimensions, right? They don't have the same units. Uh, all I'm saying is that uh, this two quantity, namely outer entropy and bionic brain inner mass, they have the same, they are basically the same uh, optimization problem uh, for a auto minimizing mean convex uh, surface. And uh, of course, everything here is motivated in ADS, but in the end, the statement uh, is, is, is well defined uh, also say in flat space, okay? so. Um, so this is uh, this is just the main main result that we try to establish. Draw this link between 
between uh, discoveries uh, from two different communities. Um, so let me mention quickly uh, an implication that is um, uh, the area loss associated with entropies is in fact now uh, equivalent to the monotonicity of the quasi-local mass. Uh, so maybe this is maybe just a, a trivial fact from the, from the definitions, but um, a priori you wouldn't think uh, this, this monotonicity laws are, 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 are the same. And, and second, maybe more interestingly, um, um, because because we know it's a quasi it's a quasi local mass, then we can ask about you know its properties, and we in fact we can compute the small sphere limit of the entropy, and um, it turns out uh, this is given by uh, uh, is characterized by the stress tensor, right? The other other constant here are just um, are just constants. The only thing interesting here is the stress tensor. So uh, suppose we don't know about this link between between them. Then you will be very puzzling why the, the entropy uh, locally is, is sort of characterized by a stress tensor, but now uh, because of this this, this equivalence between th this uh, inner mass and outer entropy, we know it has to be the case, right? Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't make sense. Okay, so so this is also uh, confirmed. And and by the way, this this is constructed. I mean, this is computed using a a sort of a heuristic uh, algorithm to, to construct a few in developed by the authors that uh, study this outer entropies. And um, uh, uh, although it's not provably optimum, uh, it turns out in this case, maybe because it's only concerns small spheres, um, it give you the right answer. So, uh, so it, 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 we'll come back to this later. Um, let me see how much time I have. Uh, okay, so, so let me quickly mention the very last implication. Um, so this is something called um, the, the, uh, 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 N conjecture in quantum field theory. And the N conjecture is just uh, the following scenario. You have the end um, marching say from left to right. And he wonders um, what's the minimal energy uh, possible uh, given what she has already observed. And that is you fix part of the state and you try to look for the minimum total energy over all possible, say, extensions of the state, right? And uh, it turns out Wall conjectures that uh, this is given by entropic quantity uh, is on this right-hand side, and it's actually proven uh, in some special cases. So the, the main message I want to convey is that uh, this is a, a statement that relates energy with entropy. Um, and notice that the left-hand side is very much like the bonding mass. Or, although it just, you know, it's, it concerns energy measured in quantum field theory, concerns matter energy, but uh, it, it motivates us to, to think about, can we have a, such a similar statement for the gravity sector using the bionic mass? And notice the Penrose inequality says the following. Uh, the Penrose inequality implies the bionic mass is lower bounded by the, the irreducible mass of the, of the outer entropy, right? This is just, on the right hand side, I just have the inner mass. On the left hand side, I have the bionic mass. And this is by definition true um, uh, if I assume Paris inequality. And then um, naturally, the sort of gra gravitational analog uh, counterpart of the of the N conjecture I just show you in QFT is that uh, uh, maybe these two quantities are equal. Um, so, so this translates to say, uh, in words, uh, it says that the bionic mass of some closed surface is actually given by the irreducible mass of the largest black hole that you can fit behind it. Okay. Um, and uh, can we collect some evidence for that? Or, I mean, we ask the question, uh, uh, is this true, right? Could it be true? Um, of course, we, we know that the, the equality trivially holds if, uh, if, if this, this, this uh, bionic data can be embedded into Schwarzschild. Right, but we also know very non-trivial constructions or examples where this is just a parallel horizon with arbitrary intrinsic geometry, uh, uh, um, and uh, you know due to this Mantovalis chain construction, uh, which is revealed by uh, in the previous talk, we know that there are many examples where you can get arbitrary close uh, to. I mean, you can basically saturate this equality here, but without having this embedded into Schwarzschild, uh, and also the small sphere limit uh, shows that these two things are, uh, are actually matching in the left and on the right. So, um, uh, so, so, so it seems to su 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 support this conjecture, but then on the other hand, we know that uh, certainly it doesn't hold in general, right? So for example, if you consider uh, just the Schwarzschild initial data and you, you consider the ball outside uh, of the horizon, 
And then uh, actually this ball has a positive bionic mass, but because of the rigidity of the parents inequality, you, you can't hope to uh, fill in with another minimal surface. So, so this, this surface has a zero inner mass and a positive, uh, positive bionic mass. So, so then th um, this is sort of a strictly inequality uh, above, right? Uh, and in fact, uh, Bray and Horschel uh, conjectured in their uh, review paper of the remaining parents inequality, saying that maybe generically uh, this equality doesn't hold. So, so really the question in the end is, um, so under what conditions do we expect this equality to hold? Okay, given, uh, given all the evidence we care so far. Uh, so I wanna conclude. Uh, so the main message to take away is that uh, there's something called outer entropy invented by physicists when looking at entropies that uh, tends out to be coincided with the construction of a bionic brain quasi-local inner mass. And the uh, uh, interesting question is, can we find a, say, pro provably optimal procedure to construct the optimum fill in that computes the inner mass or outer entropy for, say, surfaces other than a uh, apparent horizon? Right? So uh, in some sense, this is a dual problem of the, of the bionic uh, mass problem, okay. um, which is known to be very hard. Um, and also, if we understand how it works, uh, uh, in the end, can we say something about bionic mass and this outer entropy, maybe uh, understand when do they equal to each other? Okay, so uh, that's all I want to say. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So we have still a couple of minutes for questions. So the only problem is that maybe I don't see who wants to ask the question, but hopefully I, I will see it, you know. So are there any questions, comments, remarks? Well, so let, let me ask a question. I, I apologize because I, I had to leave for a parallel meeting. So I came jumped back here in the middle of the talk. So uh, uh, in your summary, you said that the, this ob that uh, Bartnik uh, mass is equivalent uh, to uh, the outer entropy. So how should one equivalent understand here? Uh, uh, so, so this- uh, yes, May, Maybe so, explain so, this, I apologize if, uh, if, uh, if I make uh, you repeat this. Okay, so, so, so here I just mean that, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean energy equals the entropy because certainly they have different units. I just mean that they have the same uh, optimization. They are, they are the same optimization problem. That define as the same optimization problem. So the, the, this equality is actually a mathematical equality or a moral equality or uh... a, a, a mathematical equality okay. between okay. yeah yeah yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So thanks, the speaker again. And... Thank you.